This is at the office. A tanging. This is something who is newly signed to the company. A tanging. You are indeed beautiful, but you are really old. After giving birth, we will only be able to receive meat powder, commercial, and play some motherly roles. A son chin. You don't talk nonsense. Ah, I just told the truth. Tang is not for her good temper. She won't deal with me because of it, right? Do we have anything to celebrate? You seem to be very hostile like to me. No, we haven't seen it before. It's just that I'm used to being number one. So I won't be second to others when I get into hiring. Even if you take away the best resource by virtue of your status as Mr. Moss wife, I can clearly suspect you with my strength. Come home quickly. I feel uncomfortable looking at you with your eight month old belly. And this at the parking lot. Ah, uh, madam, don't talk to Sonchi. She is a bit talented, but she is too arrogant. Her internal conditions are not bad and she is quite impressive. And then, in the car. But in the entertainment industry, whoever has that momentum has the final say. Oh, Auntie Bai, I'm back. They are right. Oh, Xiao Ning, Huo Jinjin came here and I left first when you weren't there. Hello, Ning. Uh, Jinjin, what happened? Did you quarrel with Fang Yu? No, did you know that Hai Rui recently signed a powerful role named Song Chin? Um, how? I met her at the company before, and she warned me to be careful. Oh yeah? And soon after, Fang Yu received an anonymous photo of my affair. Although there was no evidence that it was Song Chin who did it, I just suspected her. This is very suspicious. You should be careful about this in the future. Pull up Sonchin's information and take a look. Oh, okay, ma'am. And after a while, looks like this is Ed Ifony hanging open her eyes. And finally, oh, Mr. Mo on her side. It seems you were not dreaming. You kept your promise and came back on time. <laughs> oh, you fool. Um, there is something. Don't worry. Something happened to Huo Jingjing. What? She was fine when we spoke on the phone yesterday. Something happened last night when she went to pick up Xiao Yue from school. She is now in the hospital and is still away. It was an accident caused by official staff without a less, and the owner is willing to compensate. A uh, what? A mother's career may be ruined. How to compensate for this? I want to see the surveillance video of the incident. Oh, okay, I will make arrangements. And then they are look at to the video of CCTV. At that time, Hui Jingjing was entering the passport to open the door, and the blue terrier suddenly rose over and attacked Xiao Ye. And look at this. Hua Jingjing reacted quickly and helped Xiao Ye take off her coat, but the dog is still chasing Xiao Ye. Why is still dog chasing Xiao Ye? Has Xiao Ye provoked it before? Or is there something about him that attracts it? And this is in the morning. Um, you are here at hospital. How is Jingjing Jing doing? The leg was very soft, but there will be scar on the leg, and she won't be able to walk in soles in, in the future. Uh -huh. Mom was injured like this all because she was trying to save me. Oh, um, show ye. Mom, I I'm here. I'm fine. Ho <laughs> ho. Oh, Xiao Ye. And Tang Yi looks sad too. Is this what Xiao Ye was wearing on the day of the accident? Yes, it was full of Chinese blood. I had thrown it away, but I found it again after receiving your call. 
Did you find anything suspicious? I found this bone in my trousers pocket. Follow this clue and start investigating. I don't understand. If someone wants to harm Jinjin, why would they target Xiao Yu Er? Oh, Huo Jinjin is an adult, so it is difficult to attack. For children, Huo Jinjin was injured in order to protect the children. So as to catch the child by surprise and discuss it as an accident. The person who did it had extremely vicious intention. And look at her face. Here is something the planner. Will her next target be me? Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.